Welcome back. What does it mean to change a marching style? When the people marching number in the thousands. For now, the Boys Brigade says it will continue to drill in the same way that it has for more than 50 years in Hong Kong. The Boys Brigade was established in 1883 in the UK, and it started in Hong Kong in 1959. Boys Brigade has been in Hong Kong for 59 years, and will be celebrating its 60th anniversary next year. Currently, we have around 14,000 brigaders and officers and 357 companies. Each company meets every week on Fridays, Saturdays or Sundays. Each session is about three hours. For example, in our company, we spend one-third of the time on drill practice. We have our Founders Day parade every year. All brigaders and officers will gather on that day drilling, and it will be inspected. We also have drill competitions. Through such competitions, we hope brigaders will learn from each other and that their drilling skills will be improved. I've been in a few of the drill competitions, and one of them we like got second place, and we definitely worked really hard. Our trainings are kind of tough, but then it's also fun. We are always emphasize during drilling is work as a team, prepare as a team, and try and best a team. Though sometimes we not we may not win, but this actually binds our friendship and like family ship in the boys' brigade. Our members are very proud of our drill tradition. If we were to change, I have doubts as to whether our members will welcome it. Chinese drilling uses Chinese commands, but we've always used English commands. In addition, we have been using our current drilling style since 1959. To get all 14,000 members to change to Chinese drilling style will be rather difficult. Hence, for now, the executive committee has decided that we will not change any of our drilling style. If the un uniform team uh, is not willing to follow the advice, uh, I think they will not face greater forces in the future or pressure in the future. The government and their superior would not force or press the uniform team to follow the advice because this will cause resistance. Whoever suggested this sounds like they want to find a way to make young people in Hong Kong more patriotic and loyal to China. It's really hard not to associate such suggestions with the political intentions behind. When I was doing the drill practices back in the days, I never knew it was British style. I never knew there were so many different styles of drill practices or drill steps that uh, were out there. I only follow the tradition and the heritage that has been passed on from generation to generations of Red Cross members. Did it make me a loyal British subject? No, never. It never changed the way I felt or nor did it make me more patriotic towards the British regime. As members of uniform group or disciplined forces, we are not asked to swear. Even we shout our commands in English, we do British style marching, but nobody has asked us to swear allegiance to the Queen or British government. To march in the British way is only an expression of formality. I believe the mission of every uniform group would ask members to love China and Hong Kong. Even in their training, cadet members might need to learn about the Chinese national anthem and the Chinese flag. The 5th Company of the Boys Brigade has been marching for 50 years. We visited to see what happens at a drill practice. Drilling in a squad needs to be very neat and tidy. The brigaders should be familiar with the drill movements to start with. In practicing, very often we count the time to make sure everyone's aligned. There are different ways to count the time. If we are turning from one direction to face the other, we would count one pause two. If it's mark time 
or quick march, we use left, right, left, right to let the whole squad know the rhythm. Dressing is to align the squad. There is full interval in dressing, which uses the full length of the arm to space out the squad. There is also half interval, which uses the length of just the upper arm. During drill practice, um, there's not much time to think about anything else. You basically have to be really attentive to your commander. He or she gives all the orders and you have to follow them and be like alert at all times. And you can't daydream and stuff. Up to the right. Drilling and marching require a high level of concentration because like there's a lot of variety of change and also possibilities that can actually come up during like a practice or a drill competitions. Uniformed youth groups in Hong Kong told us they didn't know much about the drill style used by the PLA. The PLA style of drill movement of Sonimon Custom comes from a mixture of countries. Gustav has its origins from the Prussian army. It then uh, spread to Russian Empire and later the Soviet Union at since. The former Soviet Union has spread to country like North Korea, Cuba, Iran, many of the former uh, Soviet countries and of course China, while German remained using the Gustav until after the Second World War. Discipline forces in Hong Kong, like the police and correctional services, also drill and were taught the British style. I think there is possibly a chance for the discipline forces from the government to be asked to change as well. Naturally, the next question they're going to ask, the discipline forces are paid by the government. Why do you still do the, your British marching? You change a new boss, okay? So. If the new boss wants something different, probably whoever worked for your boss has to follow the instruction. We always say that you follow the instructions. Since the government has been changed, I believe that one way or the other, they will change it. Anna Poon learned how to march the British way and went on to a 23-year career in the Hong Kong police force. I have no idea about the other country but all the teachers, the instructors, they came from Britain. And uh, of course, we have to follow the British style. And I believe that all of us will love it. Marching wasn't easily learned. It takes us a long time to learn that drill. And it is like nine months before we understand that. If change is actually coming, Anna says the force should tell officers when the change will occur and expect difficulties. We have an uh, American saying, we can't teach an old dog new tricks. So maybe management level has to be patient with the whoever has been right now in the career already. In December 2016, the Hong Kong police invited the British Army School of Ceremonial to coach officers here on drilling ahead of 20th anniversary handover celebrations. The course ran two weeks at the police college in Aberdeen. The police force declined to be interviewed but told us... The Hong Kong police force has been sending drill and musketry inspectors to the British Army School of Ceremonial to attend drill training for many years, with a view to enhancing their professionalism and standard. It's sort of like professional development and professional exchanges. There's a little political meaning inside there. A drill shouldn't be having any political um, idea or, or, or thinking in it. A drill is to let your group to be united, just like a football team or a basketball team. It seems that in the past 20 years, Hong Kong still inherit the old model that is in the colonial period, but now we are no longer colony. 
what should we do is still subject to a lot of debates. That's tonight's Pearl Report. Join us again next week.